This is the dawn of a new era in British karting. Over 550 drivers in 12 classes competing for victory over 18 race weekends. This is the Motorsport UK British Kart Championships. A fascinating Rotax season comes to a close at Forest Edge Kart Club, and ahead of the Rotax 177 finale, we caught up with Stephen Chapman from BRP Rotax to discuss how he is feeling after an epic 2019 season. It really is a, a true world-class event where the drivers turn up, they get everything provided. The race entry, the kart, the tyres, the fuel, they only have to turn up and enjoy a fantastic event where they can compete with the best drivers in the world to become the Rotax Champion. Ethan Haynes on pole position from Matteo Zanetti and Nathan Schaefer alone on the second row as Michael Cheek has the points needed to clinch the title. He will sit out this last race of the season. Jack McConnell and James Beecroft in the third row from Moorcroft, Luck, Wright and Oliver. From Charlie Whaley and Michael Roots, then Chris Thomas, Aaron Yao, Cole Edwards, Taylor Adams and Jamie McGowan. And as they come out of the final turn for the last time this season in Rotax 177, Jake Sanson with you as the lights go out here at Forest Edge. Let's rock! Into the first corner. Great start by the O play Zanetti. Ethan Haynes slotting into second place. Zanetti getting the best start, up at two wheels, as there's already some drama in the first couple of corners. And at the back of the field now is the E plate. That is Cole Edwards. So Cole Edwards drops down to the back. And the race for the top step of the podium really gets on a pace. And there's some big moves down into Winges, up the hill, and in towards the bus stop. So far Zanetti in control of the pace. And there's a chance that he has a mathematical opportunity to get into third in the standings. Maybe even to beat Beecroft. Looks as though there's some big problems for a couple of drivers down the order. Zanetti running well. Haynes in second, Schaefer third, and a big move on the inside of the final bend. Four, and that is going to be... Now, who is that that's made the move there up into fifth position? I think that's Alex Luck, who has got through on James Moorcroft in the final bend. So he's got through and is now tucked up behind James Beecroft in fourth position. Zanetti is leading the way, and he's currently on 605 points, the same amount as Nathan Schaefer, but only two behind James Beecroft. So Zanetti has a genuine chance to clinch second in the driver's standings here, and that's clearly his target. Second place though is Ethan Haynes. He doesn't have a chance to grab second in the standings, so from his point of view, he just wants to bow out on the top. Nathan Chaffer's next up, and up the inside, that's Luke Oliver making a great run there on the inside of Michael Roots. So Roots loses out, but there could be a nice dice up the inside is behind them. We've got Chris Wright and Chris Thomas dueling away. And it looks as though we've had an issue down at the back of one of the Howarth Racing drivers. That is Sam Winter, who is going to try and continue to the finish of the race season. But what a year it has been. So now it's going to be a really exciting end for all of the competitors as they battle. That's Haynes through into the lead, I think. He has got past Zanetti. So Haynes is through on Zanetti, and now they will battle for the last race victory of the season. Nathan Schaefer there in third position. It's going to be a massive threat, though, to Zanetti because they are tied for points before Zanetti lost his position. Zanetti is now there in second place, and that's going to drop into fourth in the driver's standings. So he needs to get back past Haynes and hope that Schaefer has a tricky race and doesn't get closer. Meanwhile, there's an overtaking move into fifth position. That is a bold lunge there from James Moorcroft to hold on from Beecroft. So Beecroft is still there in P6. Zanetti's going to try and have a look at Haynes. Haynes holds on to the place. And there's an incident at the bus stop. Somebody's gone around there that looks to me like the 18 of Tim Darlow. So Darlow's at a spin there in the bus stop. Meanwhile, Charlie Whaley's made a good move. He gets up the inside of the two of Chris Thomas. So Chris Thomas trying to end his season on a high note. Jack McConnell there riding behind him. But it's Ethan Haynes versus Matteo Zanetti up at the front end of the field. And second place in the driver's standings is, of course, up for grabs. So they will continue to battle all the way to the finish. So Zanetti trying to get back on terms with Ethan Haynes. Haynes is not going to be in the top ten of the driver's standings, even if he wins the race. 
So it's up to Zanetti to try and make break up in the inside line. He's not going to be able to get the overtaking opportunity there. He's still going to dice in behind the 33 of Ethan Haynes. Tippy towing his way through. Is there an opportunity for Zanetti? He tries again. But it's a tough battle as they come through. Meanwhile, this battle is still raging further back as Alex Luck loses out to James Moorcroft. Moorcroft gets through in a fourth position past Alex Luck. And so now the battle for the victory still between Haynes and Zanetti with Schaefer in third. Moorcroft now fourth in front of Luck. Oliver Beecroft rots. Uh, Root, sorry. Wright, Yao, Whaley, McConnell and Thomas. So some sensational racecraft. As Michael Roots is now trying to close up on the two guys fighting up the road in front of them for sixth position. A great battle. They're still wheel to wheel. That's Luke Oliver and James Beecroft. Oliver gets back through on Beecroft and now Michael Roots has a chance to close up. As do has Chris Wright. So some terrific racing. Now what has happened further back? We've got a couple of drivers still squabbling away. Zanetti still all over the back of Ethan Haynes. The back end steps out big time as he squirrels under braking. So the E-plate of uh, Sam Winter, uh, sorry, the 81 of Sam Winter and Tim Darlow having an issue. It looks as though Jack McConnell has disappeared from the fray. Now Jack McConnell, I think, has come into the pits to retire. He's had a mechanical problem, so Jack McConnell is out of the race and out of the year, unfortunately. He made a very good impression in the latter stage of the season. Hopefully, he'll be back for more in 2020. And Ethan Hayes is still battling away with Zanetti. And Zanetti still trying to close up on Ethan Hayes. He's got something flapping on the cart there, Matteo Zanetti. I can't from this distance make out what it is, but I don't think that'll be affecting anything in terms of performance. And uh, that shouldn't uh, warrant a mechanical flag. I think he'll be all right with that. But Zanetti is hovering there around the back of Ethan Haynes. Up to the right-hander at Midgets. Back on the power, up towards the right-hand hairpin. So, so far, so good for Ethan Haynes and Matteo Zanetti as they scrap for the victory. But the 99, Nathan Schaefer, is right there in third position. And he is looking to grab second in the standings now that Beecroft has tumbled down the order. So Schaefer could well emerge as the runner-up here. Three drivers in the mix for it. If Beecroft continues to lose places, Zanetti is actually now fighting for second in the driver's standings, not third, because Beecroft has fallen to third in the standings. If Zanetti can get through and pass Ethan Haynes, it will put him level on points with Chafer, and then it will go on Catback, and that will go the way of Zanetti. So Zanetti decides, OK, I'll sit in second place for the moment behind Ethan Haynes. Let's count down some laps, count down some minutes, and then I'll make my move. We're about to get to the half distance mark in the race. Ethan Haynes sliding around a bit. Up the inside! That is a very critical overtake from James Moorcroft as he gets past Nathan Chafer. Now that is crucial because Chafer's going to lose a point. And Chafer losing a point means he's going to be tied with Beecroft. And if Zanetti gets through, then Zanetti will definitely be the vice champion. Michael Cheek watching on the sidelines, grinning from ear to ear, knowing he's the champion, whatever happens now. But Matteo Zanetti is tight in behind Ethan Haynes. If he can get through now that Chafer's down to fourth and Beecroft's down to seventh, Zanetti, if he wins this race, the way things currently stack up, he's going to be second in the British Championship. And what a fight back that would be for Matteo Zanetti. So Ethan Haynes leads the race from Zanetti in second. Then it is Moorcroft having got past Chafer. Alex Luck, Luke Oliver, and then James Beecroft is still fighting to be the runner-up in the championship in front of Michael Roots and Chris Wright, who are definitely giving him a strong run for his money. Aaron Yao is up to 10th place now from Charlie Whaley and Chris Thomas. Then Edwards, Fibner, McGone, Adams, Winter and Darlow with Jack McConnell out. And then also the non-starters, Michael Cheek, Carl Churchill, Louis Large and Oliver Smith, none of whom taking up the start. So it is still Haynes from Zanetti. We're going to the second half of the race now. We have completed 11 laps and we are likely to complete anywhere between 22 and 23. Matteo Zanetti is hunting Ethan Haynes for second in the Drivers' Championship. He's got to keep up the faith here. Currently he is fourth. Schaefer and Beecroft tied for second in the standings on 604. But Zanetti has 602, unless he can pass Haynes. Then he will get three more points, and that will put him second in the standings. That's how crucial it is for Zanetti to pass Haynes. 
Haynes is hanging on for the moment. Beecroft is struggling in seventh. He's got Roots and Wright right underneath him. And Schaefer is trying to get back on terms with Moorcroft. This three-way fight for second in the championship is going to go down to the wire. And it's not out of the realms of possibility that if all three have a problem, Luke Oliver might get it. He's on 596, don't forget. So if he can make up some places with the drivers in front struggling, then Oliver could actually emerge as second in the driver's standings. It's not impossible. Zanetti trying to get close to Ethan Haynes, but he makes a mistake in the bus stop. And that's cost him some momentum. It's cost him some time. But maybe by doing that, he buys himself a chance to go from a little further back to come and have another crack at Ethan Haynes. And it's Chris Thomas who now will receive a warning flag on the main straight here. The warning flag goes to the number two. As he passes away from the right side. Will Edwards and Joe Fitzpatrick will take the goal. Adams, Winter and Darlo to finish off this amazing season here at Forest Edge. It's going to be a really intense battle to the flag. That is for certain. So still, Ethan Haynes leads in front of the O-Brake, Matteo Zanetti trying to get into the lead of the race. If he can get through with Chafer and Beecroft struggling, then he will be the vice champion. Haynes is not going to let that happen though, not without a fight. Five minutes and 15 as they cross the line. And so now Matteo Zanetti is running out of chances, but he's still right where he needs to be. All over the back of Ethan Haynes, threatening to make a move. But it's not done yet, that is for certain. But it is going to be a tie fight, that's for sure. And then all over the back of Ethan Haynes. Looking for a manoeuvre, looking for a way to come through. Into the bus stop. Zanetti going well. Haynes going just as fast. And it looks to me as though Chafer is actually struggling to stay with the man in third position now. James Moorcroft seems to have more than got the measure of Chafer. And Zanetti is through! Zanetti has taken the lead. And that means he has taken second in the championship fight. So Zanetti has moved into the lead past Ethan Haynes. And if he stays there, it is second in the championship coming his way. So Matteo Zanetti is in the box seat to become the British vice champion. And it's going to be a really amazing end to his year. If he can just hang on in front of Ethan Haynes. They go past the trees, into the bus stop and along the edge of the forest itself, up towards Midgets, into the right-hander. And Zanetti has control of the situation now. One point ahead of Schaefer and Beecroft in the points tally at the moment. Oliver is still fifth, looking at 5.96 for the points tally. But Zanetti has got through when he needed to. Haynes isn't going to give up, though. And if Haynes gets back through, then Zanetti will have to settle for fourth in the driver's standings. There really is only a couple of points in this. Zanetti leads in the race and in the title fight for second place. Schaefer and Beecroft by just one point. So he has to hang on in front of them. Schaefer is struggling to stay with Moorcroft in third. Oliver is fifth, Luck is in sixth, and Beecroft is under massive pressure now from Chris Wright in eighth position, trying to have a go at him. But Zanetti is now trying to extend his advantage on, Matt, on uh, Ethan Haynes. So can he keep this pace up? Three minutes and eight seconds to go over the line. Haynes is still attacking Zanetti. He just wants to end the season with a win. Zanetti wants to end the year as first champion. And there's a big battle, and Beecroft's gone under the grass. Beecroft's gone under the grass, and he's lost about three places. So that surely takes Beecroft out of the hunt for the vice championship. So Beecroft would have lost a massive amount of places there. And that's going to cost him. So Chafer is going to be solid in third place now. Even if he can't close up and pass Moorcroft, Beecroft losing as many places as he has is going to drop him to fourth in the standings. Zanetti comes through with less than two and a half on the clock. Haynes in second. Still right there. Still pushing for victory. But Chafer is now solid in third place as Beecroft is going to fall down the order. He is in fourth place. But Beecroft is now in 10th position and that means, well, on drop scores actually he will not improve his score. So he can lose as many places as he likes now. Because Beecroft is not going to score higher if he finishes where he is. And there's more problems as now there's a battle further back. Beecroft manages to get his way past Cole Edwards as too does Chris Thomas. And it looks as though Tim Darlow is not far away from being lapped by Zanetti and Haynes. Haynes is still pressuring Zanetti all the way. 
So Ethan Haynes trying to get the victory off of Matteo Zanetti. Zanetti has been a tough adversary for anybody in the second half of the season. Only his first half of the year had been a solid. Had it been for that, he would almost certainly have been a championship contender. But he's made all his big gains in the points towards the end of the year. So Zanetti is on course by just one point in front of Nathan Schaefer to lift second in the championship standings. Schaefer will finish fourth if it remains like this, and that will be enough to be third in the standings. So with a minute to go of counted time, there are three laps left if we go into lap 21. And Zanetti leads from Ethan Hayes. Hayes is still pushing all the way for more clock. And then Schaefer, Oliver and Alex Stark. Then Aaron Yao and Chris Wright. Root, Beacock, Thomas Edwards, Fitner, Whaley, McGone, Sam Winter and Tim Darlow. So Darlow is not far away from being lapped by the third place man. That is uh, James Moorcroft. As uh, Zanetti and Haynes have already got past. But Haynes is not done yet on Zanetti. He's still going to push. Zanetti starting to move to cover. They will have two laps left of this season. Zanetti is not safe in second place of the championship fight yet. He's got to beat Haynes to do it. Moorcroft is no longer the big threat. Schaefer in fourth place is the big threat. He can't afford to lose the place to Haynes. Haynes is pushing it like Sting now. Down towards Wingy. Zanetti's going to defend. Haynes is going to challenge. They come out of Wingy's. Up the crest and up towards the bus stop. Haynes all over the back of Zanetti. Time runs down to zero. Next lap will be the last one. But can Haynes get past Zanetti before that? He knows that if he can get through at the right moment, there will not be an opportunity to retaliate. As he goes into the hairpin. Zanetti still hanging on, trying to protect the inside line as much as possible. Here we go, last lap of the year for 177. And Zanetti's got Haynes literally rubbing bumpers with him into the first couple of corners. So Zanetti hangs it out there, holding on from Haynes. Out of turn four, down to Winches. Can he make the move to get through? He's not there, he's not there on the inside line yet. He can't quite make it happen. So Zanetti's got to hang on in front of Haynes into the bus stop, right? Left, right, good exit from Haynes. Zanetti knows he's there. He gets across to the inside line to cover. Two final stretches of throttle now into the air. And here goes Haynes. He launches it and he's through on Zanetti. Zanetti's going to try one more time. They battle and Zanetti's through. He wins. Absolutely incredible. Zanetti wins in the final turn of the season. And that means that he is the vice champion by one point to Nathan Schaefer. Haynes is second, what a fight from both of them. They gave as good as they got. Zanetti wins, Haynes second from Moorcroft in third. Schaefer is fourth from Luke Oliver and Alex Luck. And then Aaron Yao and Chris Wright. Michael Roots and James Beecroft down in 10th from Cole Edwards and Joe Fifner. Chris Thomas is 13th from Charlie Whaley, Jamie McGowan, Sam Winter and Tim Darlow. The retirements are Taylor Adams and Jack McConnell. The non-starters are Oliver Smith, Louis Large, Carl Churchill and the new Rotax 177 British champion, Michael Cheek. So, with Cheek claiming the title on the sidelines, Haynes and Zanetti would swap places once more after the final corner move was deemed to be worthy of a penalty for the Italian, and James Moorcroft joined the two men on the podium. So we've come away with two wins, uh, absolutely thrilled. Thanks to Team Clay, because they've been brilliant help all season, and Dad, who's head mechanic, sponsor and everything else, has been amazing. Um, so yeah, we've really enjoyed it, come back next season fighting and hope for the best. So started final two on seventh. So um, had a bit of work to do, but uh, managed to find a bit of pace um, thanks to Dad and Team Clay. Um, nice to come home in third. So yeah, had a pretty hard season final. I feel that to end the season. <laughs>